East Texas Cigar Tribe. How about a little San Cristobal revelation? So this is a San Cristobal. Man, what a beautiful band. It really is. It presents so nice. The whole stick really presents great. This is a Jose Garcia stick in the Jose Garcia uh, Pepin's factory. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's a nice cigar. This is a 92 plus rated cigar. Man, I'm not very far into it. I got notes of caramel, kind of a steaky caramel, like sugars caramelized in a pan. Maybe some cedar notes. Man, definitely creamy caramel. This is something else, man. This is a great stick. This is one of the best sticks I've smoked in a long time. Uh, this is a discount. This was in a discount rack at, at Tobacco Junction. Kind of crazy. Okay, the pros say, at first glance, the Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper has a medium brown color with thin vein construction and is smooth to the touch. Pre-light notes consist of cedar, barnyard, earth, and cardamom. The cold draws deliver flavors of figs, caramel cocoa, and pink peppercorn with tingling on my lips. As I light my 6.25 by 52 legend, an abundance of smoke fills the room with a full range of aromas. While I smoke through the first third, I would say the hearty Nicaraguan blend is well-balanced and medium-bodied in strength. Each note intertwines perfectly to create a complex blend of tastes, falling into a sweet and spicy mix with clean, citrusy zest. I don't know. I think some of that's bullshit. <laughs> Probably not. But dude, that's, that's those guys with those real refined palates. So I got some of it. I definitely am getting the caramel still, the, the you know, caramel, maybe the cocoa notes. I'm getting a touch of spice, not a ton. Cardamom, dude, I got to be honest, I don't know what cardamom tastes like. I probably had cardamom like in a curry sauce, I think. I think it's pretty common there. But nonetheless, this is still a great smoking stick. And I'm, you know, well into the second third. Yeah, this is really, really, really fun to smoke. Yeah, this is exactly why you got to smoke a lot of sticks. You know, what I have bought this San Cristobal anyways, I probably would have. And I think I bought a full price one the other day. Uh, you know, but then I started digging through the discount bin and I wound up finding a couple other sticks that I wanted. And this was one I was like, hey, I just bought its sister off of the full price bin for twelve fifty or something. So, you know, this is one of those major reasons why you go and dig through the discount bin. Just because it's a discount bin, just because it's a discount stick, doesn't mean it's discount flavor. I'm not buying a stick that's been dropped and busted open. It's got splits down it and someone's, hey, I'll give it to you for a dollar. It's still going to smoke good, but it's kind of cracked. That ain't what this is. It's a nice stick. And I got a great band with two little gold medals on it. Just beautiful that I get to add to my band collection. So long and short of it, hey man, get out there and smoke a bunch of cigars. This one is a great one. If you can find this stick, especially in a single so that you can try it and know whether you want to buy some, I'd go buy it. But I'm going to tell you right now, mark this on your calendars that today I'm going to go try to find a box of these. This is one that I want to keep. I want to keep at least a half a dozen of them in my humidor resting at all times. Now, for clarity and for full disclosure, this one was already resting for quite a while in the Tobacco Junction humidor. 
I don't know how long and Garrett couldn't tell me, but I'm going to tell you that, you know, how long could it possibly have been resting? I guess it could have been resting quite a while, but I would buy some and I would put them in my humidor and I would absolutely let these suckers set for six, eight months. I'd pull them out on special occasions, even though it's not a crazy expensive stick, but this is one that, you know, when you want to treat yourself, I'd pull it out. All right, guys. Hey, that's all I got on this one. I'm going to smoke it on down. I'm going to try to peel this band off without damaging the cigar, uh, hopefully. The other one came off good. They didn't use excessive glue, so hopefully I get this band off. So it looks pretty, and most importantly, so it doesn't destroy the stick, because I want to smoke this one all the way down, see what I get out of it. So, guys, appreciate you tuning in. See you next time. Peace out.